One of the main performance markers we can look at with movement, regardless, for example, is say someone's kind of coaching approach or their kind of movement philosophy, for example, is how well the rib cage moves in relation to the pelvis in that kind of downward compressive phase in transition. So areas such as, for example, kind of rotation and those kind of vertical forces, there's a mechanism behind both of those. So in many ways, you know, the idea of that kind of pelvis thorax separation has been area explored for in great detail over time, but there's a system that drives, for example, the separation between the pelvis and rotation alongside also that system that drives vertical forces. And that's how well that rib cage compresses and moves down relative to that pelvis and down. So from example, as you see on screen here, at top of back swing, relative to the pelvis, typically in very powerful, very explosive players, the thorax or rib cage moves down more relative to the pelvis in that transition phase. Now, that compression, that movement downwards, that lateral compression, that diagonal compression, that rib cage onto the pelvis is what then drives, for example, that the idea of rotation. So rotation or the separation between the pelvis and the thorax is actually coming from and actually a response to the fallout to how well that rib cage compresses downwards, can lie onto that pelvis in that kind of lateral diagonal kind of direction. That's what then creates that separation, that rotational movement for that pelvis and thorax. And equally then some, the idea of vertical forces, ground reaction forces, again, the clues in the same reaction force, what in essence is the human reacting to? Really, how well that rib cage compresses downwards is then what causes the earth then to, in essence, kind of shove the human and push the human back upwards. So in some ways, the, the motivation, the stimulation for that vertical force being produced up for that kind of floor, for example, is actually a response to really how that rib cage moves downwards. So once again, one of the real dominant performance markers with the movement is relative to top of backs and relative to their dress position, how the thorax moves downwards more than that pelvis in those early phases of transition, which is what then really encourages and motivates then areas such as rotation and vertical forces.